Right. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, whatever it suits. I was very lucky to have grown up in a family, had a great connection with St. Joseph. And it was really due to my, uh, my dad, my father, a, a man called Bernard Joseph Brady. His parents came from a place in Ireland called Born Boy in County Cavan. It's, it's, it's in the lakes area of Ireland, up in the, in the centre of Ireland, right on the border between the north and the south. And they have this, the man who is their patron saint is a, a man by the name of Saint Moog. Not too many people would have heard of Saint Moog, but a great friend of Saint Patrick's and the other people like your Fiarkas and, your, and all those other Irish saints, McCart and all those many, many of them. He was a mystic. He lived on a little island. And, uh, he, and he, the story goes that he died in the arms of Bernard of Clairvaux. So many of the young people from that place have the name Bernard or Brian, many of them, but it's often Bernard Joseph. My great-grandfather was Bernard Joseph. My, my grandfather, my father was Bernard Joseph. They had this great connection with Joseph. And in our, uh, my father was a builder. Many of the people from that part of the world were, uh, were builders and hands-on old farmers who became builders. They were hands-on people. And he, um, in our lounge room at home, when I was, was growing up out in the southern suburbs of Sydney, a little place called Oatley, in our, do in our lounge room, a beautiful picture there was one of my father's favorites of the Holy Family, of Jesus, Mary and Joseph. It actually had come off the back of a Columban calendar one year and Dad loved it so much he had it framed and enlarged. And on each of, on, on Jesus' heart there's a heart, on Our Lady's heart and St. Joseph. There was three hearts on, the, uh, on each of the Holy Family. And uh, something very, it was very beautiful. In my father, in his toolbox, there was always a picture of St. Joseph at work and in our garage at home, a picture of St. Joseph. This great connection. He used to say that all young men needed to have a great love for St. Joseph because it kept them, of course, it drew them very close to, firstly to Jesus and to Our Lady as well. It gave them great respect for others. My father lived out in his life. His faith was so deep. He had a spirituality, a very deep spirituality, what I call the spirituality of the heart, which came out of the Holy Family. But he had this tremendous respect for, for people, all sorts of people, no matter who they were, what they were, but it was all centred on the Holy Family, very, very much centred on the Holy Family, but particularly St. Joseph. In many ways, even before John Paul, Pope John Paul became our Holy Father all those years ago, my father would have had a very similar outlook on, on spirituality and life to John Paul, John Paul II, very similar. And it was a bit before his time. And John Paul II, as you mean, his time as our Holy Father, was always talking about the sanctity of family, how important family is, absolutely vital. And uh, I saw my father in his life, in my family, which I grew up in, the family was so important. Okay, like every family had our ups and downs. My mum and dad lost two little boys when they were very small. It had a huge impact on, on, on us all, including myself. I was in the middle of those two boys. And then my sister came, was eight years younger than me, she was the youngest. But, 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 that, but those boys were always part of the family, and still are part of that family. But it gave my, my parents this great love for, 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 uh, for others and people, but it nurtured their faith life. But in that, but the faith was not, was, was we prayed at home. We, we prayed as individuals, we prayed in the family. But one image that's deep in my father, and I'm sure he drew it from St. Joseph. He'd be down on his knees morning and night, 
No matter what time he, if he got up early, he thought it had to be an early rise as a carpenter, a builder, he'd be on his knees, the first thing on his knees. Same in the evening, when we'd come home from anywhere, it was late at night, we went to many Irish parties, he'd be on his knees. It never jumps, jumps through the bed, always again. But also we prayed every day as a family together. We always prayed around the dining room table. Wouldn't matter what was on after, after dinner in the evening, before anything else was done, we prayed together as a family. And all the blessings that come from that was very simple. It was used of the rosary, but it was done in such, it, was, it pushed us and grew us together as family. But my father too, like St. Joseph, and I learned from, he had great respect and, and for other people and no time for bullying in any sense at all. He wouldn't tolerate bullying, whether it be in the family or in the workplace as well. I know on many occasions he stood up in the workplace when he saw bullying, things that weren't right. Always, he, 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 could, he found it very difficult to tolerate. And see, St. Joseph would have been exactly the same. So that, that's, that's where he inherited from the model of St. Joseph and of course the whole Holy Family. But, but in reality, it is staying and having that, and, and that draws you into the love through, the, through Joseph and the whole Holy Family, particularly through, the, through, through Jesus, draws us into the love of our sisters and our brothers, having respect for all people. It's not rocket science, it's very simple. Looking at the image, even though I was just thinking this very beautiful prayer card here, which was put together when my mother died now eight years ago, the picture of Joseph was so much part of her life with, uh, uh, with Jesus. And on the other side, a beautiful uh, picture of Our Lady of the Maternal Heart, which we always refer to as Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. But the, th but the three hearts of Jesus, Mary and Joseph. It blends beautifully together and it's no better model. And it's just as appropriate now as what it was when I was a young boy growing up, and always will be, keeping the Holy Family headed up by Jesus' foster father Joseph, the whole centre of our family, of, of our communities, of our church, of the world. We just cannot go wrong. Isn't it so amazing how an image it sticks in your mind so well. That beautiful picture, I presume it's in my sister's house now. I, I wasn't lucky enough to be bequeathed it. But I, I'm, I'm glad it's in her family because then her, her, her children and grandchildren have the wonderful witness that knows it coming into their, in, 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 into their home. But just seeing there, Jesus, Mary and Joseph in, the, in every home, no matter where the home be, no matter how... how how, how rich or how humble makes no difference. It fits into everyone's life. And it's uh, the wonderful gift that's been given to us by our God. So we simply say this day, St. Joseph, pray for us.